Sitting atop Santa Cruz's historic Beach Hill neighborhood and alongside a number of vintage residences lies perhaps one of the most historically significant homes in all of California. Built in 1891 for the McLaughlin family, Golden Gate Villa was constructed in the Queen Anne Victorian style and is a fine representation of the Gilded Age, a time of unparalleled craftsmanship and elegance. Well, Tom, we arrive in this beautiful home and there are many special homes in Santa Cruz, but this may be, in many ways, the most special. So much of this house incorporates that, that gracious history of, of Santa Cruz. The elegance, the extravagance, the ornamentation of this house is exquisite. This house is mentioned in the same breath with the Carson House in Eureka which is often thought of as one of the best representation of American Queen Anne architecture in the country. Certainly for the Central Coast, this is considered the most prestigious version of Queen Anne architecture. The home features an expansive 10,500 square feet of living space with 10 bedrooms, nine and a half bathrooms, and an additional carriage house. This room speaks well of uh, the rest of the house. It's this very special place just off the entry. And tell us about this part of the home. This is called the Gold Parlor. And certainly this captures what the sidewalk companion uh, to architecture in Santa Cruz calls the most lavishly ornamented house in Santa Cruz. You can look around this room, which was modeled after one of the rooms in the Palace of Versailles. We've got a pure semi-precious onyx fireplace there that was shipped straight from Greece. I'm sitting under a 18 karat gold uh, plated uh, chandelier. Interestingly enough, all the light fixtures were wired for electricity and just as a backup because electricity was not exactly uh, something you could depend on in those days. They also all still operate off of gas. Major McLaughlin's friend, a uh, very good friend, lifelong friend, was uh, Thomas Edison. And Thomas Edison helped to do the wiring in this house. And Thomas Edison was just one of the many dignitaries to grace the doors of the Golden Gate Villa. America's 26th president, Teddy Roosevelt, was a frequent guest. This bedroom upstairs even bears his name. Unlike many Victorians of the time, Golden Gate Villa was designed with an impeccable flow, each room opening to the next and inviting you in. The downstairs of the house was designed to have all the rooms open to each other because it was a grand stage for entertaining. The Santa Cruz Sentinel at the time uh, had many, many stories about the grand parties and the lavish events that happened here uh, at the Golden Gate Villa. I think a lot of people would be surprised in a home when you'd hear about it's an 1890 vintage home. How many windows there are? How much light comes in? There's 20 Tiffany quality stained glass windows throughout the home. Those stained glass windows sort of tell their own story. They, they move you from one section to another. The theme of the room, for instance, the billiard, the music, there's sort of a theme to uh, each area. Certainly it's just a, a wonderful part of the character of, of this home, a part of the story. There's so many unusual and interesting and just wonderful parts of this, the story of this house. Well, Tom, now we've come to this beautiful dining room. We're just saying it's, again, it transports you to another place, even within the home. And it, you still have the great flow we were talking about where everything's connected. When I walk in here, I just feel like I'm a witness to history. It just comes alive, and you know that's a testimony to the preservation of this house. The architect that was commissioned to build and design this house was Thomas Welsh, an Australian-born architect, best known in many respects for building many of the cathedrals in San Francisco, including St. Mary's. But one of his other great designs in Santa Cruz was Holy Cross Church. And I just love the fact that we can sit here in this dining room, look out the broad expanse of this picture window, and we're looking straight at the steeple of, of Holy Cross. In essence, when we've walked into this house, it's almost like we've changed both space and time. We're insulated from whatever is going on outside of us here on Beach Hill. 
It's certainly a, a sanctuary that holds a place in time. For us, the Golden Gate uh, envisions the Golden Gate Bridge, and I, I think of this as a, as a bridge between present and past, and hopefully future and past, as, as the next person comes on to take this legacy and become the steward of this historical house and carries it forward. Contact Tom Bresney and take a closer look at Golden Gate Villa, a unique opportunity.